We use the term auto-tune when referring to the plugin that can automatically detect the pitch of a sound that's been recorded and determine what note that pitch is supposed to be and automatically correct it so it can be perfectly in tune. Auto-tune is actually a name brand much like Kleenex or Band-Aid. Auto-tune is the name of the software created in 1996 by Antares. This is the industry standard pitch correction software. That's the reason why we call all software of this category auto-tune. Auto-tune is commonly associated with its use as a filter to make voices sound more robotic and instrument-like. Famously, this effect was used in songs such as Cher's 1998 release, I Believe, and famously used all over T-Pain's 2005 album, Rapper Turnt Sanger. Not every song that uses auto-tune sounds like T-Pain or like Cher, I Believe. Auto-tune is actually used in a lot of different songs that you wouldn't even notice it because it's used in a more transparent way. Software such as Antares Auto-Tune and Celimony's Melodyne software is used all over the music industry in almost every song in order to make sure that vocals are perfectly in tune. It's used in a transparent way most of the time to give songs that polished sound before they're released. The pitch correction effect has somewhat of a negative connotation today because it is sometimes overused in hip hop and pop songs. However, it's important to note that even some of the most experienced and talented pop singers still use auto-tune just to make sure their songs sound polished. Auto-tune is not a replacement for a good vocal performance where you have a pleasing sounding tone of voice, have a basic understanding of simple music theory to know what things like a pitch and being in key are. Oh brother, this guy stinks! So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna check out a couple of free auto-tune plugins that I have experience with and that I use a lot of the time and we're going to show you guys what those are about how you guys can get them and we're going to do a little video on how actually using them with the song I've done so that you guys can see what it's about so let's get into it All right, so the first one that we're gonna look at is G Snap. This is an old one. This is a throwback right here. G Snap's been around for quite some time. I used it for a long time. So we're gonna use the song that I did, Crazy Over You, featuring Yara T. Yara T is a dope artist. I'll put her Instagram on the thing below my face right now so you guys go check her out and make sure you support her and everything she does. This is what it sounds like playing. You got me crazy over you With all the little things you do You keep a smile on my face Baby, I need you to keep up the pace You got me But just for fun, we're gonna put a little auto-tune on it. So we're gonna pull up the G-Snap plugin. So let me explain uh, auto-tune works a little bit. Most music producers will be familiar with these concepts because this is the same way that a compressor would work. We have attack, release, threshold, and amount. To explain that in layman's terms for everyone to understand, attack is how quickly that the effect is being applied to the sound. Release, that's how long it takes to, for that effect to stop being applied to the sound once it ends. Threshold, how loud does the sound have to get before the effect is replied? In case of auto-tune, how far out of tune does the note have to get before the effect is being applied? And then finally, amount, which is similar to your ratio knob on a compressor. Amount is going to be how strong is the effect going to be when it's applied. The last knob that auto-tune adds that might be different for some of you is the knob of key. You have to tell the plugin what key that the song is in so it will adjust the pitches to the correct notes to sound good with the song. In general, all of these pitch correction plugins work in a similar way. So this explanation will apply to both of the plugins I'll show you today as well as many others. So I happen to know, because I just looked at my concert notes to find out what key I wrote this in. This is G minor. So we're going to put it on G minor. Oh, threshold, we see how it says 105 cents. In music, each note can refer to it as what's called a semitone. So as you're going up each key on the piano, each key is what would be considered to be one semitone. Each one of those semitones has 100 cents in between. 
it's easy to remember that because 100 cents makes a dollar. Once you start turning this up and down, that's determining how close do you have to be to that note for it to put it and snap it to this note. That's what that means. To quickly freeze frame and give a better explanation than I did live, this is a piano keyboard that's represented to show you which note is which in this software. And each one of these keys on the keyboard represents a different pitch. So this is showing you what pitches are allowed to be saying and which ones are not. The reason why some have a green circle and some have a red X, the red X, this is bad. We don't want those notes. So if you hit that note bad, it's going to put it up or down so it's on the right note. Whichever one is closer to, that's how it works. That's why I meant before by you have to have some amount of control and idea of how to sing the correct notes or else it's not going to work Let's right. put the song on so you guys can hear it. You got me crazy over you With all the little things you do You keep a smile on my face So sometimes it gets confused with singers that do like a lot of ornamentation and a lot of things like that. So you could you can hear how it kind of gets a little weird you sounding. Too. Keep up the pace, you got me crazy. You hear kind of that fast little section where she was doing things that sounded kind of weird. So if we bypass this and play it regular. You two keep up the pace, you got me crazy. So the reason it does that is because sometimes when you're doing ornamentation, you're not really landing on a note. You keep up the pace, you got me crazy. And this wants to put it exactly on a note. So it just basically the software gets confused. That's where the threshold does come into play. If you turn that down. Hey, you got me crazy. I need you to keep up the pace. You got me crazy. So let's get crazy with it now. Let's play with the settings a little bit and make it sound ridiculous. So there we go. So we're going to crank up the amount. So what this does, what the amount means, that's how aggressive is it going to be. That's how much is it going to pull the pitch that you're seeing toward the correct note. Is it gonna just go all the way down to that note? Or is it gonna maybe just bring it down a little bit so that it's a little bit more in tune but it's still slightly imperfect? Cause sometimes that's what you want too. You want it to be slightly imperfect so it still sounds human, it still sounds natural. But right now we're gonna get crazy with it. We don't want that, we want 100%. So then you have the attack. So what this means, this is how fast does it pull the note to the correct note. That's what the attack means. So if we want it to sound really robotic, we're gonna turn the attack all the way down. We want it super fast. We want it to instantly, boom, pull it to the note that is what it's gonna do. And that release is the same thing. That's how long is it before it lets go when you stop singing. So we can, we can just adjust that a little bit. We can make it a little faster release. So, now that we had the settings how we want it, let's hear it with the craziness. You got me crazy over you with all the little things you do. So you hear how it's more aggressive? You hear how it's kind of getting into that T pain effect a little bit? So let me play it one more time. You got me crazy over you. You see how the lines go straight up and down like that? That's what we want. When you put the line so it's going straight up and down, that's what gives you that robotic effect. Because naturally when we sing, we slide into the note a little bit. But when you do it robotically, it makes it more of like how a, a keyboard or something would be. It would just, it immediately goes to the next note. It doesn't have any type of slide into it. So that's what that means. To, to kind of give you guys an explanation of how you achieve that effect. So the G-Stat software, so this you version of the Auto-Tune plugin. Over you with all the little things you do. You keep a smile on my face. Baby, I need you to keep up the pace. You got me crazy, crazy over you. With all the special things you do, I don't know how you did it. So that's what it sounds like when you want to go to T-Pain effect. So one of the things I want to show you guys is you could do with auto-tune type of software, what, the, what you could do specifically with G-Snap. You could do a MIDI controlled 
um, detection. So what this will do, notes that you put in from a MIDI keyboard, what you could do with this is really fun. If you want somebody to sing something completely different, or maybe you just simply want more control over what you can, what you're doing, you can actually have a MIDI track that's underneath to what they're singing, and it's gonna go to that. I'm just gonna do it live and freestyle it, cause I wanna see what, how crazy and ridiculous I can make it sound. You got me crazy, crazy over you. With all the special things you do I don't know how you did it Got my heart in your hands I want So the next software that we're going to look at The free version of it doesn't have this So this is unique to the free G-Snap plugin So definitely get your hands on a copy of this And play around with it This is a great plugin to have in your tool set and if you want to get wild and crazy with it to make your sound really robotic, this is the way that you're going to want to do that. So for the G-Snap software, for a free software, this works pretty good and it does a good job. It's not as robust as Melodyne, which I have a copy of and is, is what I use for if I'm mixing something for someone else or if I'm doing you know, something more professional. I use Melodyne instead of this, but comparing this to Melodyne, this works pretty good. This actually is definitely faster and more fluid to use in your workflow than Melodyne in my personal opinion but this one it works pretty effectively if you ask me for something that's free my complaint with it compared to the other software I'm going to show you guys next I don't feel like G Snap is aggressive enough to get that really robotic T-Pain effect that was G Snap so I'm going to show you guys the second plugin that I like to use this is the second one I like to use this is Grailian by Auburn Sounds I have gotten a license for it because I use this so much just because I like how it works. But I have the free version that's on here because that's what the topic of the video is. The, the topic is free. So you guys can see what's the free features you get. So you guys go to the Auburn Sounds website. You can download the free edition. And they treat us good on the free edition. You can do most of the features on free. Alright, so this is what Grailian looks like when you pull this up. Like whatever you guys are using. So... What you're going to do is, it's very similar. They have a different interface for how they go about doing it. They use this little ring system here instead of the piano keyboard. They have the piano keyboard down here. This is what allows you to select the notes. I think right here they do have the, okay, so they do have the presets on this one as well. So I can preset it to G minor, which is pretty cool. And, uh... The way this one works it has some features that I enjoy using, like it has a pitch shift feature, which is really nice. There's a bit crusher, which is the bit crusher or the free? Yeah, so the, you need the paid version at the bit crusher. It's not in the free. And then there's this, which is okay, so that's not in the free either. So you don't have these extras, but you do have the pitch shift is available. And of course, the main correction feature is available. So it's like I broke it down for you guys how it worked on the first one. You just put it into the right key so that it's going to sound good with your song. You don't leave it in C chromatic. Put it in the right key. So we're going to first leave it on the basic setting. So this is like a more subtle setting. It's like a medium effect. The correction is on full. You can turn it down a little bit so that you can, like I was explaining for the ornamentation. And, you know, this is basically the same thing. So this would be like the amount knob on the other one. This would be the correction amount knob on the other one then they also have the snap range which is pretty cool so I got some good stuff here inertia which is inertia kind of works like the release feature the release knob I should say on the other one preserve formats now I'm going to explain that one in a minute here but first I'm going to play it basic so so we have a palette cleanser we bypass this we're going to play it regular one more time so you remember what it sounded crazy like crazy playing you got me crazy over you with all the little things you do you keep a smile on my face baby i need you to keep up the pace you got so that's what it looks like playing so now i'm going to put the plug in back in the chain we're going to listen to it and watch watch while it looks on the gauge right there look at what it looks like when we're playing it so you can Me see crazy Crazy over you 
with all the special things you do I don't know how you did it Got my heart in your hands I want this to last So that's what this one sounds like This was on a more subtle So this is what I was going to say with this one the Auburn sounds, the Grailian, the reason I got the license for this one, and I like this one a lot, and I even use it, even though I have a copy of Melodyne. This one, I feel like it's way more aggressive. Compared to G-Snap, it's way more aggressive. If you listen closely, it actually changes the timbre of your voice, even when the correction isn't high. So that's something that I actually like about this. If you want that crazy robotic effect, you can get it a lot easier with this. Now the problem is it's not necessarily going to give you um, like a smooth, transparent effect. G-Snap does a better job for that. You want something smooth and transparent for a free plugin. But this one, it does do a, a really good job of, if you want that more wild effect where you can really hear it. So this, is, this would be good for like EDM, you know, pop music, rap music that you want to auto tune this would be really good for that this this would be my favorite go-to free plugin for that to be honest so right now we're going to play with the settings again we're going to purposely make it sound crazy so that, cause i, I want to see what it, how crazy we can make this get you got me crazy over you with all the little things you do you keep a smile on my face Baby, I need you to keep up the pace You got me crazy, crazy over you With all the special things you do I don't know how you did it Got my heart in your hands I want You got me crazy over you Little things you do You keep a smile On my face So yeah, I like this one This one is really fun To play with If you want the real crazy sounds Like that's I showed you the pitch adjustment just now That's an effect I use a lot For a lot of the EDM Type of work that I do Sometimes for certain hip hop Stuff that I've done The rappers They like all the crazy Special effects on their voice So I use this a lot For rap to, to, Just to only use A pitch shift And it sounds really good So now I'm going to Play with the Preserve formants Now So to, to explain it As basic as possible What preserve formants Means What that does When you, When you um, Adjust the pitch Of something Or you adjust the speed Of something It changes the way That it actually sounds So the timbre of your voice will actually change like if you take it and speed it up it doesn't sound like your voice anymore you can tell that it's like a chipmunk effect or if you raise and lower the pitch you can tell it doesn't sound like your voice anymore because it sounds you know like helium or something so when you do preserve formats it makes it so it sounds like your natural voice but you're just simply singing higher or lower that's the best way that i could describe that it makes it sound more natural basically so if I turn it down, it can sound more robotic. It should sound even more crazy now. You got me crazy over you With all the little things you do You keep a smile on my face So if you turn it up and down while it's going. You to keep up the parties You got me crazy Crazy over you you hear the difference? You see what I, how I meant? How it makes it sound more like chimp monkey versus if you turn it up, it's more natural. So that's a cool little thing. It's the same thing if you were to like go super low with it as well. You got me crazy over you. With all the little things you do You keep a smile On my face Baby, I need you to Keep up the pace You got me crazy So that's a really cool effect that I like to play with a lot When I'm doing, when I'm using this plugin for that Because I will specifically use this And I bought it 
specifically because I use that effect so much, the pitch shift, all by itself. So a lot of times I'll just straight up turn the correction off and I'll just use it for- Gave you the eye, gave you my time, you took my heart, took over my mind. You got me crazy over you with all the little things you do. You keep a smile on my face. Baby, I need you to keep up the pace. You got me crazy. So that's like an effect I like using this for too. That's kind of fun. You can kind of, you can gender swap voices with this. So like you can bring it down a little bit to a different key. And you can make it more of a male voice from female. And that's really fun. You got me crazy over you. With all the little things you do. You keep a smile on my face, baby, I need you to... See, isn't that crazy? So I like doing stuff like that, because that's fun. Because if you put that effect on it, you could definitely convince somebody that that's a male singer. So there's a lot of just really little fun tricks that this one has. And I think that's kind of the difference between this one versus the G-Snap. This one, it has more features to let you just really go crazy with it and really make it robotic sounding. Alright guys, so for my wrap up of this, I hope you guys learned something from it. So yeah, auto-tune plugins, it's important to understand what they are and what they aren't, which the average person does not know and understand. Because if you're realistic about what you can do with auto-tune and what you can achieve with it, and if you know just a little bit about music theory to understand what key is and what pitches are so that you can understand how to get the best results, you get a really good sound with it. And with these two free plugins, I feel like they stack up very well to paid ones. They stack up very well to the actual name brand Auto-Tune plugin, because that's the name brand. And they also stack up very well to Melodyne, which is uh, what I use most of the time. So I think that these plugins right here Get yourself a copy of G Snap, get yourself a copy of Brilliant. Both of these are free, so it doesn't hurt you. Go ahead, go get a copy of them. I'll have the links down below for where you guys can get them. And, you know, my final verdict on both of them I think both of them are good, and you should download both. It's so like I said, they're free, so it's not like it's going to cost you anything. And I think they're, they're good for each of their strengths. I think G Snap is going to be better if you want the more smooth, more transparent sounding kind of effect just as a little bit of light pitch correction i think it's going to sound good for that if you want to get wild with it and do it the easiest way i would say use grail here for that that's going to get you wild the fastest so that's auto tune guys so hope you guys learned something from this and i will see you guys on the next one